On today's episode of Bully Beatdown. Harry. Right, baby girl, get your mind right. 2002 rap. I've tried everything I could possibly think of to get him out of my life. And he still owes her money for crashing her car. He left the car at the scene and he ran. Sounds like Rico Rodriguez. You know, I'm the number one hater of bullies. Number two. I'm number one. Ma'am, I'm asking you for help because you need to teach Eric a lesson. Ah, you're a bad actress. He asked me to borrow my car. And I told him, I said, I don't want you using my car as a taxi, picking up random people. He was an Uber driver before Ubers existed. Come on, this guy's a genius, if anything. This Eric guy thinks he's a rapper, but he doesn't realize he's gonna get wrapped up. Don't ever say that again. This gotta be done, or? Yeah, it has to be done. He's ruined my life. He really has. I'm not gonna roll in on 10 of his boys, am I? No, I don't think so. I can help you. If there's one thing I can do, it's help people. If there's two things I can do, it's help people and beat people up. That's what I need. That's what I need. Yes, I think he will be alone when you go to see him for the show Bully Beatdown. Hey, uh, Bismarck E-Dub, um, can we tone down the K-Fed for a little bit and uh, bring it on a different way? Hey, man, who the f are you, dog? <laughs> Yo, this is Mayhem in the booth. What the f is she doing here? Yo, get Linda the f out of here. I'm trying to spit bars, boy. Fat bars, man. I'm about to do a collaboration with Chingy. Remember Chingy? Ooh, is this guy like this all the time? Yeah. Oh, gee. Hey, man. Yo, call in. Nelly real quick. Yo, what's up, man? Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm You come into my down, studio down, and tell me to Yo, that jacket is big as f That's 2007 for you. We all had that same brown coat. Damn, what's this dude, man? This is Mayhem. Uh, he needs to teach this, you a this lesson. Your, this your new boyfriend? Nah, this is Mayhem. Listen, it's not even Do you like want to trip to She goes, this is your new boyfriend? I won't answer that because we might smash after the filming, but this is Mayhem. You talk a big game, but... I mean, well, I can back up everything I say. I'll yeah. do it right now. Really? Really? All right, He's well, convincing. Let's keep, Fun. let's keep out of the jail right now. Why don't you step in the cage against a guy your own size instead of picking on the ladies? How about 10 Gs to step in the cage of the pro fighter? 10 Gs? 10 Gs. But just so you know. Ah, NPC. We're not supposed to give him this much camera time, but we need reaction. So you just catch him in the background. What does he do? Nobody knows. He's not the producer. He just kind of hovers in the studio. We don't even know his name. He always wears black. Mysterious man. I'm down to do anybody. It don't matter. Pause. I'm down to hook up with any man. What, I mean, I mean, I'm ready to fight whoever I gotta fight. Feel me? Keep your sky tell pager on. I'll be in contact. Sky tell pager. Who the hell wears pagers, man? Get out my studio. Take your fresh Prince of Bel ass back home. Should have cut that from the edit. So I asked him to show up at my gym to make Yo, sure he got he's the serious. same coat as his homeboy. Were they sharing that coat? Hey, what up? Insecurities are coming out. He's trying to hide it because he has to stay in character. But if you've never trained in these environments and all of a sudden you got to go and, and fake like you're the real deal, you're going to see it. Watch his facial expression, his eyes. You made it. Yeah, you know I have to. Man. Arms crossed. That body language tells me he's tight, uncomfortable. He's not loose and freeing himself. What? Yo, he just kicked with his big toe. He just dug his big toe into the base of the bag where all the sand is. Ah, well, you kick horribly. Look. Ah, look at him. He's literally the worst athlete I've ever seen on the show, bar none. Luckily, he was wearing his protective socks so he didn't break his toes. What's that about? Whenever a dude wears socks on the mat, I'm like, get the fuck off the mat. Look at his hands. He has, he's missing punches. Let's spit right now. Just want, I'll give you a beatbox and you just spit right now. Go. Money on my mind blowing. Not the Lambo, touch more guap than y'all dudes can handle. Ten thousand dollars if you wanna use my sample. Wow. Horrible. If you lose this fight, are you gonna apologize to Linda? Yeah, I will. Really? Hell no. <laughs> ah, there we go, the heel. FYI, mm -hmm. no socks in the cage. Okay. The good thing about being a bully is. You're more feared than anything. I pick on weakness just for the simple fact that they deserve to get picked on. When you're weak, you don't deserve to be in my area. You don't deserve to be around me. His dad beat him as a kid, 
Not that that's a good thing, that's a bad thing, but that's what creates this sort of a moron. I'm known for knocking people off, man. Translation, my mom didn't love me. The fighting rapper. Yeah. <laughs> ah, this guy. We love him on the show. Because he's always in the background, he's always judging, he always has this smile with that mustache. This is John Man of Faith Murphy. He's efficient at multiple disciplines, including submission wrestling and Muay Thai. He's also Over well versed in the Bible. Fights have ended by way of knockout, and at six foot three, two hundred twenty pounds, he should have no problem wrapping up our bully Eric. This guy has no respect for women. There's only one thing to do: make him scream like a little girl. Love it, Italian accent, Irish name, thick seventy sideburns, reminding me of. Mungo Jerry. In the summertime when the weather is fine. Look at those f***ing chops. Look at that head. I wish I could grow out my hair that thick. Coming down to the chin. Let's grappling round. Come on, man. We got three minutes to make it reality and take that 5G from this guy. Shoots a double leg. Can he finish the takedown? Of course. He picks him up. Slams him down to his knees, but now uh, the bully builds back up. Hand fighting well. This is a big guy, you know? Big, big guy. Holding the cage, which is illegal. Slams him down to his belly. Excellent job looking for the rear strangle, and he gets it. Horrible technique on the strangle. Basically grabbing his own wrist, which really doesn't have a lot of pulling power. You really want to go gable grip, palm to palm. John Murphy coming in, shoots a single leg, head outside position, drives, gets the takedown. Not the cleanest, but John Murphy doesn't care. John Murphy's just trying to prove a point here. Comes across the hip. Passes the guard, or whatever you, you wouldn't even call that a guard, his legs are just meandering. Old school, old school armbar. Old school armbar, straight arm lock gets the tap, okay. So you're gonna see some really bad grappling technique here by John Murphy. It just shows you that you can literally not be a submission expert and still just crush these guys, right? They have zero understanding. And really, that's why you should train the viewer of this video. You should be watching this and going, you know, this inspires me, I don't wanna be, he pulls guard because he's so confident that he can do whatever he wants. Let's see a triangle choke. Let's see an arm He hits a sumigashi to the full mount position. Now he's going to transition to an arm bar. Wow, that's bad technique. Gets a straight arm bar anyway. That was one of the sloppiest transitions to a full Jujigatami I've ever seen in my entire life, ever. He's exhausted. Nicotine coming out of his pores right now. Runs a double. Gets a takedown. Hey, Aaron, tap him out. <laughs> Is our bully he went for a guillotine. Yeah. Didn't work. Now his arms are exhausted. Come on, Murphy. Murphy, come on, man. We got to get this. Tap out, baby. Come He's going for a north-south choke, typical of the big wrestler. He gets the north-south choke. You already seen that move. Come on, Aaron. You can make it. One more G. We got a minute to make it real. Let's get it. Come on. Take this guy down and submit him. I'd like to see a Kimura. Hey, hey, take him down the Come on, man, you're procrastinating too much. Come on, John. Outside trip, gets the takedown, goes to kind of a Kesakatami position here, and wrenches the neck, or scarf position, we would consider to be. And he gets the finish, baby, we made it happen. Excellent to see a bully get humbled like that. He came in to try to cheat the system and got submitted. Oh, beautiful right hand, left hook. Now he's just letting his hand go. Excellent. Oh man, he's shining him up and close. Boom, body kick. Right hand to the head, left hook. Right uppercut, John Murphy against the cage. He's making it. Just letting him go. He's surviving. Look at him, he's got the fight in him. Man, John Murphy, wild with the technique. Oh, he threw his shoulder out. Faking injuries now. Maybe he really did hurt his shoulder. I don't know where he hurt it. His shoulder popped out. You, oh, I wanted to see a knockout. What's wrong? What's wrong? Ah, oh, come on. He didn't punch in the shoulder. Look at Linda. Look at Linda's face. Quietly concerned. She's like, oh my God. He got hit and he wanted out. Come on. Oh, are you faking? Are you faking? I didn't think it was possible, but we finally found something that Eric's worse at than rapping. Fighting. <laughs> I think he's faking it. John Murphy's a big dude, but. He punched like a girl. And he's ripping your head apart. I wasn't about to get knocked out. You know what I mean? He was. And my damn shoulder just popped out. Denial. Heavy denial. Very shoulder popping out. That wasn't the first time he's used that excuse. I've seen it a hundred times. He might fooled all of you guys, but he didn't fool me. Ah, oh, 
Man. When did that happen in his regular life, though, Linda? What are you talking about? I want to go food shopping, babe, but my shoulder popped out. All of your 10 Gs goes right to Linda. What you got to say about that, huh? Oh. What you got to say about that? Huh? Stop it, Linda. Yeah, I got the money. Linda, you did nothing for the money. Stop celebrating. I think I know the answer, but is there anything you want to say to Linda? Give me a shoe. No! <laughs> Kiss it! Kiss my shoe! There we go. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! This is just very weird. I don't even know what to say about this exchange. Strangle Gang, I appreciate you guys. And if you're new to the channel and you want to check out the playlist for other episodes of Bully Beatdown, they're going to pop up right about now.